What makes the world number one, the world number one? What makes John Rahm just incredible at golf? In this video, I'm gonna be talking about four areas of John Rahm's game that you can learn from improving your own game, maybe not to get to world number one, but to improve your scores on the golf course. First one's gonna be his relationship with the golf ball at impact. We all know that impact is probably the most important part of the golf swing because it's the moment you hit the ball. Now, John Rahm is incredible at ball striking, and so he should be, he's the best player in the world. But what he does so well is he creates an impact position that gives the golf club a descending blow into the ball, and he's often picking the ball and then the turf afterwards, and that's one of the key ones. And a lot of golfers I know struggle with getting the turf first and then the ball, where John Rahm actually makes sure that he drives the, the golf club into the ground after the golf ball. And when I say drives into the ground, I don't mean creates massive divots. The angle of attack is just enough that it just takes a nice divot. So what I mean by a nice divot is gonna have an entrance and an exit. It's gonna be a couple of inches wide and it's only gonna be a few millimeters in depth. It doesn't need to be taking out chunks like a JCB. So what he does so well is when he comes back into the golf ball, he manages to maintain his impact. He clears his lower body towards the target whilst keeping his chest and his head over the golf ball. Now, this is not me telling you to keep your head down. God, no. Do not keep your head down. Worst piece of advice in the golfing history books. What I want you to try and do is when you get to the top of the backswing, I want you to really feel that your chest, your hips, and your head are almost moving to the left side of the golf ball if you're a right-handed golfer. So move in front of the golf ball towards the target. Again, we've got to take that piece of advice relatively carefully because we don't want to be over here. What I want you to try and feel from the top of the backswing is that your lead hip gets over your lead foot your chest rotates in front of the golf ball and your head is on the target side of the golf ball, not three or four inches in front, target side of the golf ball. So this is going to help you get into that position but of a powerful impact where you get ball and then a tiny amount of turf because that, I'll tell you something, that was pretty good. One of my favorite drills for achieving that, okay, is to actually put the ball position further back in your stance. So straight away at a setup, your, your hips, your chest, your head are already to the target side of the golf ball. And what that's doing, it's just giving you that sensation of being able to hit down on the golf ball. Now with this, you should see a slightly lower ball flight, okay? And you should definitely feel that rather than having to laterally move to the target, you're already ahead of the ball, so you're gonna feel the rotation of the body as you're coming into the ball. So this is a super little drill to get that sensation. Ball position, back of center, my head's already target side of the golf ball. I'm just gonna make sure I get that strike because all I've got to do now is rotate. And that, my friends, was pure again. Oh, it's almost as if this golf tip works. Right, tips two and three on this video, this John Rahm masterclass are very much linked together because it's about length of backswing and centeredness of your head and your spine angle. I see a lot of golfers really striving to get that long backswing. Maybe they've seen it on other YouTube videos and they're trying to kind of push their, their flexibility as far as possible, but they're just not flexible. They're just not physically able to do it. So what I see a lot of is you get to a point when the body wants to basically stop rotating. It can't rotate anymore, it's done. Okay, now sometimes that could be a, a takeaway issue as to why you don't finish your backswing, but you may then try and force it. And by trying to force it, you end up moving away from the target, away from the golf ball. Okay, so as you can see now, I've got a long way back to that ball and I've got an even longer way back to get into a decent impact position to get my quality of strike. So a lot of players, by trying to swing it longer, will move away from the ball. Now, 
And what John Rahm does, as we all know, he swings it super, super short. Now, I'm not saying John Rahm's not very flexible, okay? I don't know, I don't fully know the reason why John Rahm does swing it so short. And we know he's had kind of leg issues in the past. But the big thing with John Rahm is that he swings to where he needs to swing or where he can swing. So if you are, if you're swinging up to the top of the back swing, you think, you know what, that's about as far as I can go in, with, in terms of comfort, flexibility, then that's a great, that's, a, that's that plenty. Because you can generate so much more speed from here than you can from here. So your golf swing will actually be more powerful. You create better angles, more resistance, more likely to keep your hands and your head and your chest ahead of the golf ball at impact, like we just did in tip one, from a, a shorter position than a longer and off the center position. So what I want you to try and feel, and this is a great little drill, left your lead shoulder, the moment it hits your chin here, I want you to start to feel that you come back down towards the golf ball. Now your momentum will always take you a bit further, but the premise of this drill is to make sure you're keeping your head over the golf ball. This is all with irons, keeping your head over the golf ball. That lead shoulder is gonna rotate under your chin. And once you get to this point, you're gonna drive the lower body to the target. So you hit the sh chin hits the shoulder, and your lower body, oh my God. I think I've just found a new length of golf swing. And your lower body, drives to the target that was phenomenal it's the best track of it all year so i'm a little bit gobsmacked these tips do work they do actually work can you believe it of course you can so you do that again as soon as you make contact left shoulder makes contact come back down okay don't be scared to come back down fast or come back down slow just have a get a bit of feel okay because once you get into position there you can go nice and slow on the way back okay take your time ease it back control your movement control your control your move and bosh absolute ripper a ripper so that felt tremendous so what that what tips two and three are helping you do is helping you achieve number one all right you get yourself into a a good solid position nice and centered good rotation good control of your swing good control of your angles you're then able to get into the impact position from tip number one now if you over overcook it and try and get swing it farther because you've read on mag you've read in magazines or you've watched other videos that say if you swing it further you can create a bigger and wider arc to swing it faster which by the way you can but if it sacrifices your centeredness if it sacrifices your technique it's a horrendous idea if i get myself over here what you're going to try and do on the way down is you're not going to transfer your body weight in time and that means your hands are basically going to try and help you by getting the club back to the ball and in doing so we end up casting it we end up releasing the club too soon you add a load of loft and you lose 30 yards so sometimes it's important to understand whether tips are correct for you and that's why i do online coaching because this tip might not be correct for you for some of you it might be correct for a lot of you we just don't know because i haven't seen your golf swing but what is really important is that you understand what tips are the best for you so once you get to the top we're going to get a nice shorter takeaway nice shorter backswing head stay center we're able to create an impact position now the last thing that john Rahm is exceptionally special for is his wrist angle at the top of the backswing one of the key issues we see with a lot of golfers is the club face position at the top and it often leads to the lead wrist position so once again for golfers i feel like when they're striving for a longer faster golf swing they try and swing the club up and if this left wrist cups in that direction it's easy for us to get up here if that left wrist bows which goes away from the forearm then it's more restricted for us to get up here because basically your joints are all or skew with so if you try that now if you get the bowed position try and swing further you'll feel more tension in the scapula you'll feel more tension in your back if you cup it you can get up there no issue but what's happened guys is that club face is pointing 
over there and that is an absolute disaster because not only is it going to miss the target it's going to go high and short so what i want you to try and feel is the left wrist the, the, the lead wrist so if you've got like a logo on your glove feel like you're pointing to the sky okay into that position short and swing hit and guess what that position of your left wrist does shorten your swing maintain your center and improves your impact it's almost as if i'd rehearsed this i knew exactly what i was about to say because that now is shorter i'm centered and look where i'm at impact my hands are ahead of the golf ball you might already do this i don't know i've not seen your golf swing so it's really important that you understand whether this tip is correct for you but what it is who it is correct for is mr ram because he gets into a bowed position short and centered and he just fires the body through impact and absolutely rips it what a man john ram you are a serious player guys i hope this video has helped host give you a bit of an insight into four of the just just four of the things that john ram does incredibly well in his golf swing is why he's literally dominating every single event he plays in pretty much give or take well done recently tony for now for holding him off also quite a similar golf swing in many respects guys thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed the tip please do subscribe to the channel loads loads more content to come